Hello guys, today I'm going to do another memory forensics analysis using a volatility tool. So uh, before watch this video, please uh, watch my previous video how to uh, do memory analysis, memory forensics using volatility tool. What are the command we use to analyze uh, memory used to uh, do memory analysis? So please watch that video, then you can get a, get an idea how to use commands. So guys. Uh, I use the some uh, memory the memory image is include a, a virus or malware type so I'm going to show how to find out this uh, malware so guys uh, you know so normally uh, we use a dumpy tool to get that uh, memory image that uh, memory well that uh, uh, inside your uh, PC or laptop we use that uh, dumpy tool to get that image file you can uh, watch my that uh, video how to get an image file using that uh, dumpy tool so that uh, image include uh, that uh, malware the virus I'm going to show how to find out this uh, malware using this volatility tool so guys uh, uh, you need to uh, run that uh, command prompt has a uh, Run as administrator. Uh, please watch that uh, my video, the introduction to that uh, memory forensics and uh, how to use these uh, voltage tool. Then uh, you can do it. So after run this uh, as administrator, uh, you need to run this uh, voltage tool. Now I'm inside this uh, uh, command prompt. Now I'm going to run this. Uh, Volatile tool. This is the tool. So dash f means that file. This is the file name. So normally after dump it, uh, that uh, that image using dump it tool is uh, that the file extension is raw. So now I'm going to get that image info. We need to get uh, image uh, info. We need to find out what are the profiles inside this uh, memory. So okay, this is the command. Uh, now I'm going to run this command. So guys, uh, this takes uh, this one takes some time to run this uh, uh, command to get. Okay, guys. Uh, we got that uh, profiles. You can see. Oh, uh, Win7 uh, is a uh, P0 and P1. So I'm going to select this uh, P1, the process one. So uh, you can guys uh, select this process. So for that, uh, you need to uh, first. I'm going to select all first. Now I'm going to select that this profile. So guys, uh, now I'm going to run that uh, command again. Uh, volatility, then uh, uh, dash f, then uh, that image name. Pro. Now I'm going to get uh, what are the available processes inside this uh, profile. We need to find out what are the processes running inside this profile. For that guys uh, we need to use this command double dash profile then uh, we need to give that uh, profile name oops I think I that it didn't copy it this is the one we need to Is the one we need to copy okay let's see yes it's copied now this is the profile now I'm going to get what are the available uh, processes running inside this profile for that we need to use command ds3 press enter 
after run this command we can find out what are the uh, available processes running inside this profile this takes some time we need to wait okay guys uh, these are the available processes you can see uh, as earlier a video explained uh, what are the parent process and the uh, child processes and uh, you can see this is the parent process these are the child processes you, you uh, please watch my previous video then you can get uh, an idea so guys uh, before watch this video you need to uh, normally uh, you need to find out what are the normal processes running inside the uh, computer a computer so uh, then you can get an idea these are the normal processes these are the unbehavior processes for these are the uh, wrong processes so as a cyber security expert and the uh, after do did some tutorial uh, we can find out it uh, quickly and uh, what are the normal process and what are the unbehavior processes so guys uh, you need to uh, check uh, one by one for that uh, so let's check out these are the processes so guys these are all are, uh, these processes are normal but but in here you can see run dd132.exe this is an unbehavior process this uh, there is no any uh, parent process this is a this one this one is a parent process and uh, this one uh, uh, not uh, include a uh, child process that one is a notepad one so guys uh, we need to find out what is this uh, process that uh, name is run dd132 normally that uh, attackers use this method like uh, miss miss that uh, use that uh, spellings they change that spellings normally uh, that we use that uh, dll list like that you can see this is a dll dl host dd dll host like that this one is a dd132 there there can be a uh, spelling mistake attackers use this method so let's find out what is this uh, one or oh, what is a uh, run dd132 uh, before that i'm going to show run dd you can see this is the normal one dll32 this one is run dd132 you can see run dd132 let's find out uh, this is the normal process that uh, is run dd third is uh, dot txt is virus or not let's check out run dll32 dot txt file is a program used to run program code in dll files so that's one not a, a virus that's used to uh, use program used to run program code but uh, this one is run dd132 dot txt so guys uh, let's find out is a virus this one is a run dl132 not that one yeah uh, not that one this one let's check this one run dd132 dot txt this is the right one we need to translate into english okay that's gonna go to virus no doubt yeah this is a very popular weekend virus there are logo dot exe and run uh, run dd 132.exe file in your system folder this is the original file of the virus you cannot delete it manually this uh, virus is so powerful that will infect you you can see this one is uh, this malware home family is trojan horse this download the uh, trojan horse files to the your device in from the internet so guys this is a virus this is how to find it out 
so i find it out quickly because uh, we know what are the available processes and and uh, running inside the memory and i have to do some tutorials and uh, you can find it out so guys uh, this is how to find a malware using voltage tool i hope you guys know how to know how to find out a malware and uh, please watch my others videos then you can get a better idea get a better idea so guys uh, we can remove it using some tools but uh, now i'm not going to show how to remove this one and uh, thank you for watching this video please uh, comment and share please subscribe my youtube channel so thank you guys